Okay, and, and what happens if you ever had a summer walking situation? I mean, you know, just like, yo. Uh-oh. Just, just so you know. She was wearing, like, <laughs> my Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to nobody. <laughs> I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. And whatever that we going through, is we talking about that in the closet. Like, we uh. ain't nobody, like, it's on some like he's got a twin brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I'm not discussing but then, that. How, but then how are you gonna react when people bring it to you? I saw your man, or I saw that. You know, people. Are gonna... And I saw your man. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll laugh, and then we'll move on because they know I'm not playing at that point. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you don't have to discuss your man or your money. Yes, Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend Darius had a real deep conversation about this situation on her podcast. They really, she really knew what it was. When it comes to situations like this, you don't embarrass your partner. You wait till you get to your closet. Why the frick did he have different ideas? That's the question I'm asking. Why did he have a different idea to her when he was told about how she would handle affairs in the future? See, this gives me somebody who is willing to break protocols because you've been you've been told about how how we handle things in this family. And I'm not saying that I'm not saying that this is the most craziest or heinous crimes. But my thing is the fact that you the fact that you doubled down and didn't apologize and continued to to go on with your your tirade about how you felt like her wearing clothes was a particular situation whatever and this could have been addressed behind closed doors just like she said that she would handle affairs why is it that you're not doing it the way that that you that you heard her speak about right why is it that you are willing to do something that married couples wouldn't even do that people in relationships who care about each other wouldn't do that wouldn't out each other for the public so that someone else can have a look into your relationship and see where the weak chinks are. Why, 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 you know what I'm saying to you, right? You heard it live from the horse's mouth. What did she say? She said, listen, if someone brings an accusation against you, guess what I'm going to do? I ain't going to honor it right there and then, but I'm going to go to my closet and I'm going to talk to you and we're going to have a conversation about it, right? I'm not going to give that person ammunition to start shooting anyhow, anyway. Just like Summer Walker situation that we see all the time with Little Meech. It's frustrating. So if somebody's willing to honor you that way and cover you that way and protect you that way, why aren't you doing the same? First and foremost, as a man, protect, provide, and be a priest over your home. I love that formula, and I think it works, right? Protect your family does not just mean that you're physically strong. It means emotionally and mentally you protect your family too. You protect it from, you, you protect it by honoring your own feelings and you honor hers you do it by making sure that you protect her that you protect her uh, uh mentally by listening to her uh, ideas and ambitions and goals and you also honor that by telling her the same as well and sharing your ambitions your goals and your plans right but there's another thing you also protect that person emotionally and mentally from outside relationship and you protect it from outside feelings about your relationship by making sure that you two have a a, 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 a a way of thought and a process of how you discuss certain things she gave you the blueprint there i'm never going to discuss that with a woman out there i saw your man that is beautifully how you protect your relationship why is the woman understanding how to protect the relationship more than you are your provision and your protection is not just physical or financial Provision is also how do I make sure I provide and make sure it's a safe space for emotionally, mentally, spiritually too. Am I making sure that I'm providing that space for you to feel safe, to feel you feel comforted? Am I providing that as well? Right? Okay. This is also a part of your leadership role. Hear me clearly, men, because I know some of you are going to come on here and want to fight Kiki Palmer. I've seen some of the red pill stuff already. I'm going to start reacting to that over the course of the week. But the reality of the situation is it's not about just address that, 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 if that, if that's your main issue, why are you addressing it outside? I just don't get it. Why are you addressing this on the big boy internet to the point now you have to deactivate your, your, your Twitter. And then you came, you've come back to your Twitter actually now. Right, he's now come back, guys. So you might have seen my video where I say deactivated. He's now come back. But you deactivated your Twitter because you felt like it was too much notifications from people. You incited that. 
And I'm going to do a video as well. Probably you'll see it as well. I'm going to talk about it. That men who are leaders, you have to watch what you say. If you are a leader, you have to measure your words very carefully because by your words, you should be judged. And by your words, you shall be freed. And so your words can also begin to stir up anarchy and madness simply by you starting by poking and prodding things. There was no need for you to quote tweet the 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 the, the video of um of you, uh, your girlfriend and and Usher dancing. All it needed was a oh I see that. Yeah, you might even have liked the little video, and then you pulled her back later and said, "Babe, listen, I don't like that. That felt disrespectful to me." Right. For me, that I didn't like that, that, you know, the representation. But then you went out and out your way on a public platform, just as she had repeated and said, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to make sure that I deal with this in closet. You decided not to afford her that honor. See, this is what we call dishonoring your partner. Right. Now, if you've, and now, unless they've had a conversation behind the scenes, hold me out. <clears throat> unless they've had a conversation behind the scenes, talking about how they're going to move and how they're going to dress. And how certain dressing he does not like, then he there's no need to there's, there's a simple conversation, babe. For me, I don't like that kind of dressing. But like I've shown you on my other videos, you've taken videos of her in a cat suit with her ass jiggling. Just want to be real, real with you. You've you've got a photo where she's holding her breast and cupping her breast, and she's wearing little panties, and there's exposure of her tummy and her back. She's not wearing no top. So so what is it really when it comes to the fact that it's about the clothing? So my thing here again is. How do you honor your partner? You honor them by protecting them. The love covers a multitude of sins. Something that my dad always told me, I remember when I had one of my girlfriends and I brought her to my dad, he said, listen, hey, you never uncover your man in public. You never disrespect him in public. But here's the thing. You never disrespect your wife in public. You have an argument, you address this behind the closed doors. You have an argument and you have a disagreement, you address that person in public, in, in private. And it's so interesting because I remember one of the first times this ever happened to me, um, that me and my, one of my, my, at the time, my girl at the time kind of disagreed. I mean, it was like a Bible study and she was moving mad. And I was just like, what, what the hell's going on? And then I waited to, um, I waited till we got behind the scenes and then I addressed it with her. To be fair, I was actually wrong because I was in my feelings and there was no need to be in my feelings. Um, but, you know, so you, you address things behind the scenes. You don't address it in front of people. Right. And I've had to learn that over time. I had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, emotional development that was needed. I had a lot of maturity to have. I was throwing strops. I was uh, passive aggressive like he was. And, you know, I, I was doing a lot of that. Thing, and it required emotional maturity. And the problem with that, the, the issue that that was, was that people can see en that energy. People can see me doing that. People can see me being that way. Right. That's the problem right there. People can see me doing those things. And what it does is that it makes people see this weakness in your relationship. That invites the wolves and invites the, 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 the predators to try and take advantage of the cracks in your relationship. That creates the foothold for the devil. My friend, I'm going to advise you, listen, she gave you the blueprint. Follow the blueprint, man. Otherwise, I'm going to have to question your emotional maturity and your emotional regulation. Because that's the only reason why I was moving wild when I was younger. Emotional regulation and emotional maturity. You should have it by now. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification and uploads. <laughs> I saw your man.